Trying to get some of your best players playing better would, would really help things. Who would be the headliner for that for you? Well, he's one of them right here, Marcus Bingham. They go right to him. More production on this that end of the floor. Tom Izzo talks about Trent Frazier of Illinois as a warrior as Murray goes slicing, piercing the lane for two. A hard ride into the lane for Murray, and now here comes Christie on the attack, and that's wiped away by Philip Rabracha. In the, the five games since he went for 20 at Rutgers. Patrick McCaffrey splashes down two. He hasn't been shooting it well from three, but he's got his first two tonight. Tony Perkins getting the start again. There's Bohannon, and if he gets untracked, as Maryland found out a couple weeks ago, that wasn't necessarily the case. Brad McCaffrey discussing fertilizer with our officials, Bo Borowski, Rob Kuhneman, and Don Daly. Columbus dispatch writer Adam Darty about the Big Ten and its turnover rate defensively. Oh, Murray absolutely put him in the blender for two more. And we're going to get out. Perkins takes it himself on the dive and the foul. You saw it right there as Iowa is all over the cutters here. Entry pass batted away. That was Keegan Murray. Up ahead for Perkins on a long step through, and he had it taken away. Ohio State points. You turn them over 14 times. They've been doing that all year, though. This is Malik Hall into his shot for two. Jaden Aiken got it off the back of the iron. Boy, he needed that. And efficient over the last couple of games. He's been closing down games as Marcus Bingham has struggled. Right now, Michigan State's having a heck of a time. Murray again. Again removed. I mean, you have got to trail him off these screens. It's a crazy feeling, you know. I was just saying, I'm sitting over there looking at the bench. It's like I used to sit there all the time, so it's <laughs> it's uh, it, it's crazy. But it's a lot of fun seeing it from this angle, and I became sort of a fan. I, you know, I didn't see it coming to this level. You know, when he first stepped on campus, and we were playing pickup games. You know, his offense, the way he scored in so many different ways, was so impressive. And then last year, I didn't think it was going to happen absolutely right away. Uh, but it's been so fun to see it, um, and, and, and his confidence, his aggression, uh, is what this team needs, and why, and why they're doing so well. I think you can be inspirational to them. How do you do what you did? You know, there's a you know a lot of things that go into it, but you know, at the bottom line, it's just hard work and belief in yourself. There's Hall. It's nine in a row. I think you got to continue to manufacture some offense, which has been hard for them in the half court. You know, you look at the numbers, and this is a good way to start. Oh, they're going to finish it. Just a simple ball screen, pick and roll, and I, you know, I don't know if the backside help was what really got him. Now, Marcus Bingham, he's got to be a factor. Yeah, the two fouls in the first half took him out of what was an early successful half for him. McCaffrey wiped away by Bingham. Max Christie was really behind that play. Marcus Bingham comes over and just wipes out the drive. Hauser from Holgard. That's when Michigan State looks finely tuned. Again, he doesn't want to see him dig these holes of 14 points, but they played better in the second half against Illinois, and they're starting here nicely. Boy, Joey Hauser has been engaged, whether it was the first possession. And that is just short. A.J. Hogard ramming down the lane, and he put it up and in. Iowa gets it to Murray. He's working on Malik Hall. Perkins hopping in the lane. That's great defense by Akins. Level possible. That's a high compliment. I mean, all year not having a bad shot. I'm sure he's taking one, but I, you know, I, I just can't think of one. Hogard defended by Murray. I would say right now, those three guys, and Jaden Ivey could certainly put himself back in the conversation. Wow, wow that's Keegan an incredible Murray. move right there. I mean, he's got three Spartan defenders. We will see Michigan State next Saturday against Purdue as that three goes down. Uh, the first points for Tyson Walker tonight. Jay Brown not playing well, and Malik Hall has done his part. Julius Marble, I would say, as well. But they're going to need another guy to put the ball in the basket. McCaffrey's going to get called for dipping the shoulder. He's had two 5-3 games in the non-conference this year, and maybe going against Keegan Murray in practice has built that confidence up. Chris Murray dislodged. Again, Aiken. 
They'd be a three, four seed. No, I mean, they've got a lot of talent. They've got some guys right now that have lost some confidence. Bohannon trying to square up that three over Christie. Oh, no! That. You can feel that coming. He was just sizing up Max Christie. Sanford, oh, he wanted that three. Bad. <laughs> he did. So does he. Rightfully so. Murray wants position against Hall. Thought about the face up. There he goes. Got it. His 12th game of 25 or more. That's the most in the NCAA this year. Walker for three. His second of the half. Keegan Murray, I've said it about Jay Nivey. I mean, the talent in the Big Ten this year is phenomenal. Whoa, that's a heck of a play by Marcus Bingham right there. Just a ramrod. What a big game for Kansas State that is. Huge. The next four out right now. You, you want to talk about making the NCAA tournament, you better win tonight. Chris Murray for three. I think they, they both have the tools, and Chris's skill set has the length. There he goes again. Yep. Not to necessarily miss the NCAA tournament, but... You want to be playing your best basketball heading towards March, and right now it just feels like an offense. The Ulysses and Iowa is playing with. I mean, they're guards. They're taking this off the glass, and they are flying down the floor. Remember, Fran McCaffrey told us he wanted more of that before the Maryland game. There's Murray. That's not just for for Luca guards in Iowa. Man. That's for the trainer had like a system for putting Kleenex in his nose. Marble, yes, for two. On the block, the Robbie Hubble story. Yeah, I was going to say. Is that going to be with Harper Collins? Rebracha denied. Second chance. He got shoved all the way to Des Moines. Joe Toussaint gets bumped and scores. That is utterly ridiculous. And he is down. Michigan State, on the other hand, they missed 10 of their last 11 shots. Another cold spell. Chris Murray, sleep. No. I need to get Gabe Brown another shot. He needs to shoot this thing. He passed it across the way for Walker. You almost would have liked to see Gabe Brown just go to the rim there. I wouldn't be critical of Gonzaga because all they do is win the games that no, they're asked to I win. I, I just think sometimes... It, it, everybody wants to do the thought experiment of put them in the Big Ten and see what happens. Takes a lot of tough pull-ups. He takes some tough shots. And right now, you, you wonder if he's hit that freshman wall. Luke Laqueta up ahead, and Ash goes underhand. So 30 minutes. Oh, Ash wanted the run out. Oh, no. A, a game and a half. So it would be all game. <laughs> And then they absolutely douse Michigan State at Carver Hawkeye. And a clean handshake leads us to 86 to 6.